With a third class lever, the fulcrum again is at one end, just like the second class lever. But what makes it different is that your effort force is going to be closer to the fulcrum than your resistance force, or that load, to the fulcrum. All right, so this is not going to make work easier for someone, but it will make the resistance move farther and at a greater speed. So a good example is going to be the broom and also the fishing pole. All right, so the resistance here on this fishing pole is going to be the fish. The effort is going to be this person here reeling in the big fish. And the fulcrum is going to be at the end of the rod. Now in the example here, notice that my load or resistance is three times farther away than my effort. So this makes my mechanical advantage one-third. All right, let's go fishing. The fishing rod is a great example of a third-class lever. The third-class lever, kind of like the second-class lever, has the fulcrum at the end with the effort force and the resistance force on the same side of the fulcrum. Right. So our effort force would be right here because that's where my hand is going to be when I'm holding the fishing rod. And my resistance force is going to be at the end. Okay, so let's go down here. Down here is where we're going to be reeling in the big one. Right? Our big fish is down here. And that is what is going to be causing our resistance on our pole. So let's find that distance first. So the distance of my resistance is going to be from the resistance itself all the way down here to the fulcrum, the fulcrum being the end of the rod. And so if I look at that, it is going to be 77 and, let's see, that'd be 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 sixteenths. Right, so 77 and 11 sixteenths. All right, then my effort is going to be where my hand is. I have my hand right here. The center point of my hand is approximately right here. And I'm going to use a smaller ruler for that. Get that in there right. And about center point to the end. And that is three and one fourth of an inch. Okay, now for this example, I did the problem the same way as the others, giving me a 0 0.0418 mechanical advantage. Notice that this mechanical advantage is less than one. So yes, whenever I put the effort in, I am having to use a greater force than the actual force of the resistance, in this case the fish. If you ever notice whenever you're lifting up the fish with your uh, fishing pole, the fish feels like it's so much heavier than whenever you actually get it out of the water. Of course, you've got water resistance in there as well. But uh, you get a trade-off there. The speed at which that you're pulling it out of the water and also the, uh, the distance. So whenever you barely move your wrist, the distance that the end of the pole is moving is greater. So there is a trade-off, and that's why those third-class levers are used even though it doesn't give you a mechanical advantage of higher than one.